it is time to pray, rest in God and leave the rest to Him. There are certain things we can do, but what we can't do, we have to wait and watch God perform His miracles. Thing that is certainly our responsibility is to pray. We need to seek, ask and knock. This is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask in His will then He hears us and if we know that He hears us we know that we have the petition that we desire of Him. Our priority has to be to seek first the Kingdom of God if God and His Kingdom are first, then our needs will be met. He opens doors of opportunity and He opens doors of possibility. He knows the thoughts He thinks towards us. They are good. He wants to give us a future and a hope. You are called to be right here at this time for such a time as this. you are going through, God will give you what it takes to get to the other side. You will not sink. You will not drown. You will survive the storm because you were born at this time because God knew you could not only survive, but that you could help others through it as well. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Our walk with God is an individual thing. And he may ask you to do something that he's not asking someone else to do. And it may not seem to make sense to anyone else. But he may not be asking someone else to do what he's asking you to do at this time. We have to stay in our lane as we walk with God because we are the ones that have to answer for what we have been asked to do. The days we are living in are evil. We must live purposefully, accurately and wisely, making the most of the time. We must firmly grasp what the will of the Lord is and make a decision to move in the direction that He is leading us. This is a time to set our face in prayer. In these evil times, there are things that only God can turn around. We cannot fight the battle raging against us on our own. What is impossible with man is possible with God. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond anything that we ask, hope or think. He has more for us than we could ever imagine. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. 
we do not have to bow down to fear or intimidation. I'm an overcomer because of Jesus, my Lord. I'm an overcomer. His word is my son. I am an overcomer. Jesus paid for my sin. I'm an overcomer. I've been raised up with him. We do not have to fear or be in dread of them because it is the Lord our God who goes with you. The Lord your God goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. It is the Lord who goes before you in the battle. You are not fighting this battle alone. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, Present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ. It doesn't matter what you are going through, the peace of God is available to you. He gives his power, his love and a sound mind to help in every situation. Call upon him and trust that he is working it out. Pray and expect supernatural help. Prayer is not preparation for the battle, it is the battle. Nothing is impossible with our God. <laughs>